Hey guys, it's me, Casey, and welcome to week two of the 2015 Halloween event. Now, I haven't actually started week two just yet, but we got the main quest line here. I have reached level four, the scream level four, I'm actually level five now. And I have to start the next movie, the supernatural scary movie with the werewolves, at least that's what I saw in the picture. So let us upgrade to week two. Let's see what we got. Death, you want to stick around and watch movies with us? We can yell funny things at the screen. Oh, that sounds kind of fun. What do you yell? Well, I like to open big, which is why I always shout, Fire! I'm hilarious, and a danger to our municipal services. Bastard. Yeah! So, like usual, if you guys don't know, it's always good to look at the frequently asked questions for the event. In this case, week two, or go to the fan sites like Family Guy Tips, Family Guy Addicts, and one of them or both of them, hopefully both, will have the information that you need. So I know ahead of time a few things not to click. Like that car over there. Do you see it? Do you see the thing with the hammer? There's a silver car there. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit to show you. Don't click that. It starts a seven day timer for Meg's friend, Patty. So keep that in mind, and just like the, the first week, there will be a time thing at the end for the, what do you call it, the driving, with all the prizes as well. But the first thing I'm going to do is click the Peter Griffin quest, and I know I have a whole bunch of stuff to clear, like all the money and stuff, but I want to see exactly what I got first, what I'm dealing with. Hey Dad, can the next movie a new Halloween marathon be Twilight? I don't care. I got to drive into Smooch. You watch, you would watch the movie, loser. <laughs> okay. Vampires are coming. Okay. I didn't know we were getting vampires. I know we were getting werewolves. I only, I only briefly glanced at some of the stuff upcoming. But we got vampires, so we had to get a clear three vampires and have Slasher Bay Peter hang out at the scene of the crime. So, Death as a Driver in the sequel part one. This is I think the main quest line for week number two. What do we got now for Peter again? Oh my God, have you seen this? Hey, one of your weird friends is trapped in a car trunk at the drive-in. How do you know that? I heard muffled screaming while I was getting munched on the hood of a car. Oh, you. Search for Meg's kidnapped friend. I ain't not gonna click that. Once again, you click that. Seven day timer, baby. Do not click it. Not yet, anyway. Get some vampires, baby. Oh, vampires, okay. So we have to tap on a vampire, which turns them into a bat. Then we have to get garlic bombs to earn sodas and stuff. In the first week, it was water balloons. You got popcorn. In this one, vampires turn the bats, and you have to use garlic to get the sodas. If you run out of garlic, get them from the characters or from the shop. So Jerome, for sure, is one of the characters that drop the garlic, which is awesome. So that's done. Clear three vampires, but I can't do that, obviously. I have to get the garlic, but I will click it anyway. Hi, Mr. Vampire, you're very sucky. Oh yeah, they turned to bats, I totally forgot. I was like, okay, I win. Oh no, they're going everywhere. Oh hell, that's not good. I don't think I should have clicked them. Um. So, I'm assuming that we can clear more than one then, obviously. Based off the fact there's a ton of bats everywhere. Alright, let me see what happens when I click one. I can't click them anymore. Okay. So, obviously, that's where the garlic comes into play. So, I'll have to do that. Oh, I have to actually click three vampires. Okay. I just got confused. Alright, vampires. We got one bite by Bruce. Yeah, I did it. And the next one by Jesus. I did it. Finally. Slash your bait Peter hanging out the scene of the crime. How long is this going to take? It just sounds like busy work. Oh, he's getting murdered. Fantastic. He actually needs it for death. I've got to do this three times for death. Because of, Oh, hey, hi. Hi, Mr. Weird Clown Inflatable Man. I get to get clams. So this obviously is if you click it. It'll take you to like an advertisement and you'll be able to get a free clam or two, which is very, very common in a lot of these games. 
And I'm glad I finally have a chance to get it. I don't know if it's for everybody. But this is the first time that I've gotten it, I think, off the top of my head. I know they brought it back here and there, but I was never one of the lucky people to actually get it. Slash your bit Peter is done hanging out the scene of the crime. I actually just stopped it and waited because I wanted to see if I could continue on with the first of the main quest line because I knew it was only 30 seconds. It is done. Vampires and werewolves, but death, the twilight craze is over. That's what they said about Latin Explosion of 1999. But these things always have a way of coming back. Hey, I got two garlic! Oh my god! I better get my Ricky Barton posters out of the garage. We can live a la vida loca again. Live la vida loca. Yay, garlic is fun. Which means I can do bomby bomby. And this is it! Yay, we get a, a new, uh, completely separate option, actually, from week one. Everything is exactly the same as week one and week two. The only exception is we get a new way of getting the sodas. The sodas is a new popcorn, if that makes sense. So I got three of them there, but we will continue on in the main quest line. Yep. I'm standing here at Quahog Drive-In, where horror movie characters are coming alive and out of screen. If Phoebe Cates from Gremlins comes out, I call her. No, 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 that's not how it works. She has to be here to call her. All right. All right, all right, all right. Collect two more garlic bombs. Clear 16 flocks of vampire bats. All righty. Another Peter Griffin quest. Am I right? Lois, can we please buy garlic bombs? Why do we need that? I can use it to get rid of vampires. I can also use it to yell BAM when I'm making 5,000 calorie pasta. Alright, so we got a premium, uh, yeah, premium deal here. 18 garlics when you buy $10 clams more, which is kind of fun. So now we got to kind of figure out everything in week two. It doesn't seem too, too complicated, honestly. But you've seen the bats and when you clear the batch with the garlic, you get the sodas. The other way to get the sodas are from the Silver Cannonballs. Exactly the same as I can see as week one, where instead of you getting water balloons to clear the nuns to get the popcorn, we've got Silver Cannonballs to clear the werewolves to get the sodas. Now, everything is exactly the same. You can put characters on quests or whatever option you want to do to get the Silver Cannonballs. But the werewolves themselves, I believe they don't pop up until I think part number four of the main quest line. I, of course, I'm only on part number two, so I can't show you the werewolves. But that's the other option of getting the sodas. The sodas, of course, are needed for the concession stand. Sodas are the new currency, but you can still get the popcorn. You can still clear the nuns. It's just there's another option. Options are always good to get more of the movie reels. The movie reels are like the thing other than the cleaver thing you just can see in the top corner there. I have 729. You've got to get to a certain level to move on to the next week, but you've got to do the main quest line. So do the main quest line. That's the main important thing because you can't continue on until you get to a certain point of the main quest line anyways. But we'll look at the movie reels here exactly the same as week one. New prizes. There we go, those are the prizes from week number one. I happen to get them all. But the timers are exactly the same. The timers are exactly the same as the week one. The pattern is the same. What I recommend that you do, get to the sixth prize, which is a tree, clear it, and then stop. Because there's timers and stuff, and you want to make sure that you're safe. What I did in week number one was I got to... Quagmire's house here. I got it. I stopped. And then the final two prizes, I just got all of the movie reels that I needed combined. So then when I was ready to go, bam, bam, I knocked them out like it was nothing. I didn't have to worry about the timer. Same thing here. I recommend getting to this tree thing, stopping, and then getting the movie reels for Slasher, Lois, and the Clancy school skin. Get them combined, then you can knock them out, boom, boom. No troubles at all, baby. 
And I'm trying to think if that's really it, honestly, in terms of what's, you know, the procedure you have to follow for week number two. I think that might be it. I think that might be it, honestly. So just do all that stuff like week one. Clear the bats as well. More ways of getting soda. We might as well look at some of the items as well. Everybody actually looked at this in my off time while I was waiting for Peter to finish so I could continue on into my quest line. But we got Michael Myers. He drops always the silver cannonballs, 260 clams, probably has a voice. My guess is obviously just different movie clips and stuff, movie sound bites. Pretty cool though. I don't have enough unfortunately. Missing 40 clams. Joe's Hell House. Holy crap, it looks amazing. That is a sweet looking skin, man. I want that skin. 150 of the 3D glasses. I'm starting to lose my voice. I don't know why. I'm having a hard time speaking. Slasher bait lowest, of course I can't get. Snack attack mystery box. Movie prop warehouse. Shameless scarecrow. Torture chamber. Wooden stake. We got a chance of getting garlic bombs. And of course everything else that's locked are just the week two movie real prizes. And then all the stuff is from week number one. So I think that's pretty much it. It's not too, too complicated, honestly. It really is pretty straightforward. It's exactly the same as week one, as I said, I think. It's just new methods of clearing new creatures. You get new movie real prizes. And I know I covered Patty already, which is at the top over here. I'll zoom in a bit more, actually. And I said, don't clear this until you're ready to clear it. Basically, this is pretty much like the new death of the week. Week one, we had death. It's going to take some time to get. Week two is Patty. It's going to take some time to get. Keep in mind that these characters, you can actually get until the end of the event. The only time that characters are not to the end of the event is if they have timers. So keep that in mind moving forward. Just ignore Patty for now. Just ignore this character. Completely. Because you've got a lot of stuff to soak in, a lot of stuff to work on moving forward. You don't want to accidentally repair this and then get stuck with another thing you have to worry about on your plate. Oh, the final thing is death. I have to show you death and what I'm at with death. Oh, did you hear that? So, two of three slasher baits. All right, you win. Let's go. I just got three of eight for that. 14 of 18, every single sandal is because, being because of good old Bruce. He's been so nice to me. But just for one I got all of the Souls of the Dead. It's from the Slasher Cave, which is one of the movie reel prizes from week one. What are you and then we got the Brimstone, 415. It says it's rare, but both times that I've done it, I've been able to get it. There we go, it's right there. It's only a two hour quest or two hour timer thingy or whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm getting fairly close to getting death, honestly. I just need to have some luck with these things and then I'll be more than likely be able to get it pretty, pretty fast. Pretty cool. Pretty amazing. Week two is pretty darn crazy. So if you enjoyed this video and you really want to show your support, hit that thumbs up button. That would be super duper awesome, amazing. Thanks for watching, my name is Casey, and I will see you on more of Week 2, The Future. Bye bye guys!